If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, welcome you all to this new lecture in machine series. So today again we will be solving five questions, starting from question number one two one to question number one two five. Okay, then let's uh, try to solve these five questions. Now, if you come to question number one two one, the single phase fifty hertz fifty kVA one thousand by hundred two winding transfer is connected and auto transfer the kVA rating. We have done it so many times. This one, so you find the maximum current that can flow through this hundred volt. because this 100 volt is coming from this transformer so we have designed this one to carry this rating so as per this rating what is the current it is can take so you find out that current that is i2 maximum current i2 it can take it is 50 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 100 so it will be 500 ampere so what will be this kva rating maximum kva rating max voltage is 110 and current it is coming out is 500 So KVA max will be equal to 500 because you can give only 500 maximum current through it. 1100. So it will be 5550 KVA. Sorry, 550. 11 into 5, 55. 550 KVA. So that is your answer. Next, if you come to 1 to 22, a open circuit test is performed on 50 hertz transformer using variable frequency source, keeping V by F ratio constant to separates its ED current and its transistor losses. The variation of core loss. Power frequency. This is loss per frequency as a function of frequency shown in the figure. The hysteresis and ED current losses of the transformer at 25 Hz are respectively. What is this? They are axing. You know, your hysteresis loss is directly proportional to b to the power 1.6 into f to the power into f. Now b is equal to v by f. B is directly proportional to v by f. Now this v by f is kept constant. That means your b is kept constant. So your h1 by h2 will be only f1 by f. so that is 25 by 50. If I take one case as 50 because 50 is given, I have to find that 25. So your first this is your h1, this is your h2. So your h1 will be equal to 2 of h2. Similarly, your e1 by e2 is equal to that is also proportional to e is proportional to b square into f square. Now b is proportional to v by f because v by f is kept constant. So this b is kept constant. So it will be simple f1 by f2 whole square. It will be again 25 by 50 whole square, which means your E1 is equal to 4 times H2 is equal to 2 times of H1. E2 will be equal to 4 times of. Now, what is your H1 plus E1 in at 25? You can see this slope. It is actually in between these two. It is 12.5 hertz or watt per hertz. So hertz is 25. So at 25, the total loss will be 12.5 per hertz, and hertz is here 25. So if you take product of this one, this is the H1 plus H2. And H2 plus E2 will be equal to at 50. What is this? It is 15 watt per hertz. So it is 50 hertz. So 50 into 15. So it is 750. Now in place of H2, if you put 2 H1, in place of E2, if you put 4 E1, that is equal to 750. You can solve this question number one and two. Equation one two. If you solve it, your H1 will be equal to 250, and H2 equal to 62.5. So that is your answer. Option B. So in question number one twenty three, the load shown in the figure absorbs four kilowatt at a power factor of point eight nine. Point eight nine lagging. Assume the transformer to be ideal. The value of the reactance x to improve the power trans power factor to unity is. So let me calculate what is the I here. What is the reflected I? It is coming from here. Then that I plus this I should give me the unity power factor I because this current that is taking from the input input power factor that means this current and this voltage that should be at same phase. So let me calculate what is this I in the secondary I2. So if your I2 is equal to 4 into 10 to the power 3 divided by because it is 4 kilowatt, so it is VI cos phi. Your V is 110 and power factor is 0.9, 0.8, 40.85 at an angle of minus cos inverse. So that is 40.85 minus 27.126. Okay. So if you reflect this I2 here, this will be what will be your I2 dash. This I2 dash. And this is I X actually. So what is this I two dash? So if you reflect it here, because it is two is to one, this side voltage is increasing. So if you keep send your current, it should decrease. So forty point eight five divided by two at an angle minus twenty seven. So if you take your voltage is here, so your current is coming somewhere here I two dash. Your I one is I two plus this I X. So obviously your I X should be somewhere here, so that the resultant of these two should be here. So this component, this is if you phi. So if this I two has two component, one is this, one is this. So this component has to be completely nullified by this I X. Then this and this will cancel. Only the horizontal component will come. Out. So that is my requirement. So if you cancel it out, these vertical components, so only horizontal component will come out. 
so if horizontal component is come out then it will be in phase so what is this vertical component this i2 is equal to it is 20.425 angle minus 27.126 so your ix whatever your ix that should be equal to 20.425 into sine of 27.126 now what is this voltage this voltage because it is 110 it should be 220 this set voltage so so it is v by x that should be equal to this magnitude i am talking about angle i know because it should be 90 degree lagging leading so obviously it should be capacitor so whatever it is there so you can calculate your x will be equal to 220 divided by 20.425 so it will come 23.61 ohm so that is your answer next if you come to 124 the parameters measured into 220 by 110 single phase transformer is self inductance primary self inductance secondary mutual inductance so using the above parameter leakage l1 l2 and magnetizing inductance as referred to primary side of the equivalent circuit i think you know this primary side conversion of this coupling capacitor uh, coupling inductor so it will be of this fashion in inductors also we have i think i have discussed this one coupled inductor referred to one side if they are additive, if they are repulsive, because here it will be, it is of transformer, so it is obviously, it is not additive, it will be subtraction, because it is always phi 2 minus phi 1 that is kept constant, that's what I told you, transformer action, your dot polarity is, if one throw one dot it is entering, another dot it should come out, because this flux should oppose each other, so they should not additive, that should be not reverse of additive, subtractive, so it should be your L1, this is L1, this is A into M, this is also A into M because this M mutual inductance is negative here. So it is L1 minus AM and L2 if you convert it this side just now you have seen as per this ratio you will convert A square into L2 and then minus A into M. First you convert into primary then deduct this mutual inductance part. So what this will be your LX1. So your LX1 is equal to L1 they have given 45 minus because it is single phase so it, the ratio is simple this by this that is 2 so A is here 2 so into mutual inductance is given 20 so it will be 5 and LX2 will be equal to LM is equal to 2 into 20 that is 40 and LX2 is equal to 2 into 2 square into L2 is 30 minus 2 into 20 so that is 80 so your answer will be L1, L2 first, so 5, 80 and then 40, so that is your option B. Next if you come to 1, 2, 5, the primary MMF is least affected by the secondary terminal condition in a power transformer. Power transformer it will be obviously not because it is effective, it is always phi 2 minus phi 1, distribution transformer is also there. Potential transformer and current transformer, now you see your CT, CT is just like this, it is a primary has a single turn and this is the primary current data and it is the CT through which the, you are passing that to air only. The CT current is so small compared to your primary that it these effects these are doesn't have any effect because it is the primary whatever current it is going the same current is going due to this CT there is no effect comes out because one thing is CT current is very small and one thing that we don't want to your primary current to get affected because it is the load current we don't want to interfere on that load current so it is CT because the MMF is created by NI so if i is very small then obviously it will be going to be reduced in however in pt it is not the case so obviously it is answer is option c if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section